Hey there guys, this is Jimmy from Spin Retro. This is a tutorial video of how to set up arcade games on Retroid Pocket 2 over at Android side. There are two main ways of playing arcade games on Android side currently. One is to use RetroArch emulator, the other one is to use the standalone Main for Droid emulator. I have tried setting up both RetroArch and Main for Droid to play the arcade games, and RetroArch is much easier to set up. But Main for Joy has better compatibility over some games. So in this video, I'll be covering how to set up Main for Joy emulator. Before we move on, I would like to mention that I am using Main for Joy 0.139U1. This accepts 0.139 main ROM sets. What you're seeing right now is the main screen of Main for Joy. This is where you select the games. The first thing we want to do is to get rid of these touch controllers because we'll be using the gamepad. What you want to do is hold down home to enter the mouse mode. And do you see where it says option faintly here? This is the touch button option and you want to select that to access the menu. So and then click setting and we have just entered the settings. Now let's head down all the way to the bottom and look for touch controller visible. Disable that to remove the touch controllers from the screen. Next, we want to go to input, and this is where you set the external controller key mapping. Go to mode and change the mode to controller auto detection. Go to define keys. This is where you define multiple players key mapping. Choose player one and configure all the key mapping as you see on screen right now. So as you map up, down, left, right as the D-pad, you will be able to use the analog stick as also up, down, left, right as well. So you can either use the analog stick to move around or the D-pad to move around. And A, B, C, D, E, F is mapped to A, B, Y, X, L, and R1. You can use the coin button to be the select, start button as a start, and these two are the emulator function keys. So exit is to exit out the game and go back to the menu. Option opens up a small menu screen to do the save state and low state and open uh, go to the menu, the settings menu. So I, I have configured exit as the L2, option as the R2 because these two buttons are not required for the arcade games. Now, if you have multiple Bluetooth controllers, you can connect to this device. For example, if you have an Xbox wireless controller, connect the controller and go to player two and key map these buttons to the Xbox controller keys. And that Xbox controller will be act acting as a player two controller. And if you have multiple Bluetooth controller, you can have player three and player four. And this is how you can connect this device to the TV via the um, HDMI output and use the controllers to play the games. Now we're done with the input setup. Let's head over to emulation now. Set emulation resolution to 640 by 480, which is the highest resolution that the device can support. If you want to show FPS count over to the right corner, then check this on. I'm going to turn it off. Also, if you don't want to see info warning screen that shows every start of the game, you can turn this off. And that's it. Next, uh, this is how to set up the ROM path manually. Um, this currently is using the default ROM path, which I don't want. So go over to general. Choose change ROMs path. And it's going to ask, are you sure App Store needed? So press yes and exit out of the menu. And it's going to say restart needed. So click dismiss and open up the emulator again. And now it's going to ask you, do you want to use the default ROMs path recommended? Press no if you want to set it manually. So it's going to open up this menu. Press up. We want to go to the root. And this is now not the root, but under root under storage folder. Choose SD card one. That is our external SD card. 
go over to where your ROMs are. Right now, I placed my arcade ROMs under ROM, under main, main folder, under arcade. This is where my arcade games are located. So choose done. And now uh, it is able to find all my ROMs in that folder. Well, congratulations. Now you're done with the basic configuration. You can navigate between the menu with the D-pad or the joystick. Press B to start the game. Press select to enter the coin. Press start to play the game. Now as an added bonus tip, press R2 to open up the menu and go back to the settings. Go all the way to the overlay effect and choose CRT. Now all other options are valid but I tried all the other overlay effects and they had some performance issues. So choose CRT and it'll apply that TV line scan. So within the game, if you press R2, it opens up the menu. You can save state, low state from here, and go to settings from here too. Last but not least, if you're wondering where to get the ROMs, the arcade ROMs don't come pre-installed with the device over at Android side. So you would have to acquire it on your own. You can simply Google search about it and you should be able to find it. So if you, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.